Hey guys. So today is a Monday, day of the moon. It just felt like a mermaid day. So we're going to be using Oracle of Mermaids for the overall theme. We're going to be using the Mermaid Tarot for the actual reading. And we're going to be using the tea leaf cards in case El Singer Turkey wants to make an appearance. Then we will let him make an appearance. So while I shuffle, guys, um, I'm going to start shuffling these real quick. I want to warn you guys, remember, anybody, regardless of whether they have my pictures or my name or another name, anybody who needs to be messaging you to solicit readings is not a genuine reader. Please stay safe out there. Real readers do not need to be messaging people, okay? Um, and thank you so much to everybody who has been continuously signed up for the monthly membership, who has been um, supporting me throughout this journey by sending stars, um, following the YouTube channel, the Facebook page, commenting, sharing, reacting to the videos. I love you so much. I appreciate all of you so, so much. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? What is the overall theme for today's collective? What is the overall theme for today's collective? <clears throat> oh, Experiment, experiments, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Number 33. So the message that comes with this card says so looking into um, GM food, cosmetics, products, and food sources developed into genetic man manipulation and experimentations. All experiments are not bad, but many are cruel. When humans use other creatures for their own selfish purposes, they lose the very part of themselves that is most beautiful and noble. Many claim ignorance or have been persuaded that experimenting on animals is necessary for human health and well-being. You are now awakening and seeing the connections between all life forms. You are awakening to the wrongness of seeking to understand something by taking it apart and most often without consent, separating families, tribes, colonies of creatures for purposes that are selfish and cruel. This took place in Atlantis and the mermaids witnessed this with the creatures of Lemuria and the animals who were often torn apart on tables as if they were unable to feel. We need to step in, all of us, and change it. It is happening again. That's why we're talking to you now. So this has um, two different meanings to me. On one hand, yes, it's talking about the cruelty of humans experimenting on other creatures um, without taking into account that they are also a little sentient soul. Um, and that's something that we need to be careful. Hold on, I'm going to clean the screen real quick. It's all blurry. There we go. Okay. Um, and I think that this also pertains to humans who experiment on other humans. Like when it comes to trying to understand something. Like if a woman says, oh, let me see just how much I can get out of this man let's see how much he loves me and they test them and test them the experiment or vice versa if a man says let's see how much i can get out of this woman that is cruel and it's out of a it's out of arrogance and cruelty so this is something we want to keep in keep in mind so let's go ahead and start with the actual reading let's do the first set we've got the six of cups The King of Swords. Three of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. With the Empress. Interesting. Okay. Okay. 
So we already have two people here. But the King of Swords, not just the colors and the image, but his face itself, gives off a very cold nature. Gives off a very cold vibe. But I feel like <clears throat> there is a connection between this King of Swords and this Empress. And yet it's showing up as either a friendship or because she is a number three and this is three, she could be a third party. Six of Cups gives the energy of somebody that you've known <clears throat> since childhood or somebody you've known for a long time or the feeling of having known them for a long time. But with the Ace of Cups, I don't think it's just friendship. <clears throat> In fact, we've got 10 cups all together. The six and the three is the nine. Wish come true, a feeling of emotional fulfillment, contentment. And then the ace adds up to the 10. So it's like wholeness, a uh, feeling of like, you couldn't possibly get happier than this. You can't possibly go higher than this. Page of Swords. Let's see. Clarify Six of Cups. So we've got Tankard. Celebration, fun, enjoyment. Then we've got Teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Lobster, financial pinch. And Jug, lighthearted, carefree time. Um... This has to be this has to be the fact that there there is a deep friendship here. Now I know it said with people of the same sex, so this could literally be people of the same gender. Um maybe one just has more feminine traits and the other one more stoic traits. But there's a financial pinch here. It could be that because somebody is going through a financial situation that could be why they're keeping this in friendship mode because we keep seeing lighthearted energy the tankard celebration fun enjoyment that's what this card represents that's what this card represents too and then this one lighthearted carefree time and then the teapot deep friendship so it's like somebody maybe is trying to focus on other things first they may not want to focus on love because they're like i've got Financial issues I need to take care of. Let's see. Clarify King of Swords. Okay. So we've got flute. Disappointment in a friend or lover. Oh. Okay. So we've got cat. A two-faced friend. Bear. Danger. Especially in money matters. Again. And barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. See, it's like this King of Swords is trying to tell this Empress that they're friends. They, again, the lighthearted, let's keep it light. Let's keep it, yeah, let's keep it light. But that's not all they want. It could be that maybe they're afraid of disappointment. They're afraid of going further deeper into a connection but we do have again danger and money matters and yet they feel something is lacking in their life so i feel like this person not only are they struggling financially but they do have it's like there there's all this coldness here because they're lacking something. And she is literally in tropical energy. So she brings warmth. But but it's like, you see how they're holding up that sword? It's like, yeah, no, that's, you've come far enough. Stop there. Like they're afraid of disappointment. Or like they've already been disappointed. Let's see, clarify three of cups.
Pin, new job, career. Okay. So we've got not, unsuccessful plans, wreath, a sorrow over a loss, and kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Oh, that's, <clears throat> that's interesting. Okay. So something didn't, didn't finish forming. Something didn't finish developing with not, it was unsuccessful. And it caused sorrow, it caused loss. Um, maybe it was a friendship that was starting to turn into more and somebody pulled back. But it's creating an unsettling feeling. Now, I'm not really sure here who pulled back, but could have been the King of Swords because they are showing up with a lot of cold energy. They might be in a lot of transition right now because Pin is like new job, career. They might be in the middle of a lot of things shifting in their life. Maybe they had to move. Maybe they had to, uh, maybe these were work, work friends, you know, and they had to get another job. And so there was distance between them. Something with the knot coming undone, something didn't, didn't solidify. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. Horse, short journey. Hmm. Okay. So we've got the fair man dealing a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Older man dealing a relationship with an older man. Wow. Pig, beware of greed. That is... Ace of Cups is a possibility of a new love offer. So somebody could be coming in, somebody older could be coming in with blonde, gray, or white hair. I don't know if it's for this king, because remember, the king can be a female, or if it's for the empress. But with the Beware of Greed card, there's something fishy here. I don't like it. Too much concern with sexual matters. So it could be that whoever it is that's coming in maybe focused on the Empress because of maybe what she gives. They're not really trying to form anything sustainable with her. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do the next set here because this is, we've already got three people here. We've got this King of Swords and this Empress. Something fell apart between them. But now we've got this older person here who's trying to come in and form some sort of connection. Now we don't know if this person's trying to form a connection with the King or with the Empress. Let's spin with the Empress. Hmm. It might be with the Empress because we have an ace on her side too. Let's see. Next set. The star. Three of swords. Page of swords. Page of Pentacles in the world. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this is changing a little bit. <sighs> I feel like when this King of Swords came in to create this, this connection with this Empress, they might have either been very young or very immature.
because this is giving the energy of having to learn something new. That could be where the experiment comes in because it could be that this King of Swords was trying to learn more about themselves, learn more about friendship in general. And they may have ended up hurting this, this Empress because they were doing it in a not very serious tone, possibly. Let's see. Because the star is like a time of, of healing after turbulence. The world is leveling up. So let's say somebody tried to form a friendship, right? And it could have been this King of Swords, the one that was greedy. So it might have been that they were, they were wanting something from this Empress and it ended up breaking her heart because what they wanted her to give without them giving in return. But that ended up hurting both of them, not just her. And it's like now they're trying to they're trying to learn from their mistakes. They're trying to not repeat that that cycle. Because the cycle is coming to an end. Let's see. Clarify the star. We've got carriage, a journey, either physical or... Okay, that's the second time we get a journey card. So, we've got tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. <clears throat> Bird flying, <clears throat> excuse me, news is on the way. And tulip, great passion. So, <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Let me put it to you this way. It could be this empress, the one that's having to learn a lesson when it comes to when people are coming in <clears throat> offering friendship, right? She needs to be careful that they're not repeating a cycle she's already been in. So she was already in a cycle with somebody <clears throat> who was greedy for her time, greedy for her energy, but was not giving anything in return. They kept putting it in like, this is just a friendship. And she's having, she was hurt. I'm sure the other person was too, but I feel like this is more about her. She's having to learn this lesson because a star, and we have four swords here. She had to heal from that slowly, but surely getting ahead. But the tortoise is also a symbol of wisdom. Like if this happened to you before and you're in danger of it happening again, why would you, why would you put yourself in that position? So this feels like a divine message coming through, like um, a download coming through for this feminine. Because maybe she was getting emotionally attached to somebody else who is also a friend. And they're like, remember, you already learned that lesson. You already closed out that cycle. Are you about to open it up again? Let's see. Clarify the Three of Swords. Popped all the way over there. Okay, hold on. Okay, got it. All right, so first we've got the fly, a period of ill health and depression. So we've got dark man dealings, a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. See already two different men, horse, short journey and vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Okay. What do these two cards have in common? Depression, heartbreak, hurt. So 
I think that this is very much about being careful of people around us who use manipulation, who use, um, but they're doing it from a place of arrogance, of cruelty. I don't think it's intentional. I just think that subconsciously people do things that they don't, they're not really thinking through. So I feel like this is an empress who was already caught in some sort of problem where she got her heart broken, she felt depression, and Spirit's like, okay, you already closed that cycle out, you already learned that, and now she may be dealing with it again. That's how the Plan Ahead card came out, because it's like, did you learn your lesson, though? Are you going to continue allowing this to happen? Are you going to put yourself in the same position when the same signs are coming up as before? Clarify page, clarify page of swords, sorry. Four leaf clover, great good fortune. Yeah, so this energy that it portrays here, it's like the the empress gets excited because she's seeing something that is interesting, right? She could be meeting somebody who's interesting. She could be, um, maybe she admires this person's mind, the way that they speak. It's curiosity, childlike curiosity, because the page is here twice, which is good because we should never lose our childlike curiosity, right? Unfortunately, the curiosity is towards a man or towards somebody masculine. Cracked cut, dissatisfaction with life, and dark woman. Dealings a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So only you know this is the Empress, but there's a couple of ways this could go down. Either one, the curiosity she feels is towards this dark man or this fair man either one it has to do with the masculine the thing is either this masculine has already experienced disappointment at the hands of somebody else a dark woman or spirit is warning her if you continue with your curiosity towards this person, you're going to end up dissatisfied because this person is giving you all the signs that this is just a friendship to them. So she might have thought it was good fortune to come across this person she and it is you know you can have a friendship with people of the opposite sex i think that the danger is when there's attraction between two people and yet one person keeps maintaining it's just a friendship okay you might want to pull back a little bit until you know that there is no there is going to be no crossover there because it's going to be one of two ways this could be for the masculine too. It could be the masculine is forming a friendship with a woman that they see is, is their, you know, good fortune to meet and say, okay, but you already, you already know what this felt like before. So one of the two, one of the two. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. And then we've got... Again, fly, a period of ill health, depression, firecracker, excitement, and forest, muddled, unclear thinking. I tell you, I tell you, somebody here is like not seeing things clearly. And the thing about that is that this person's spirit guides are trying to come through. This always comes through a spiritual protection for me. Look, star, guaranteed success. Somebody's spirit guides are coming through and warning this person. It's either coming through um, visions, it, during meditation, it dreams, 
little messages, angel numbers. It's coming through one way or another. They are trying to get through to this person, whether it's the Empress or the King of Swords. They're trying to get through to this person and saying, we are trying to protect you. This is not, this is not a good situation. You're putting yourself in a precarious situation. You will end up learning the same lesson you already learned when you've already gotten past that. Why would you put yourself in the same position? With the fly, it's like you're going to end up depressed again. You're going to end up hurt because you're excited. You're excited. You're, I told you, it was like this curiosity, this like fascination, but focusing on the tree and not the forest. Not being able to see the big picture of what's happening here. Of having to repeat a lesson if she's not careful or if they're, if he's not careful. So whoever it applies to, it's like, you sure you want to be a part of somebody's experimentation? It's like some somebody's trying to understand something. And maybe this uh, King of Swords or this Empress, whichever side it is, has the ability to help this other person understand things. And because they like the feeling of, I can help them understand this. I can help them grow. I can help them. But is that, are you doing it only because you want to help? Or are you doing it because you're catching feelings? You're fascinated by this person. And eventually it's going to get worse. Think things through. All right, guys. I'm going to start part one here. And um, if you want to watch part two, the link to sign up for the, to the monthly membership will be down below in the description box. If you have already signed up, there's another link that'll take you to my Facebook page. Click on that and it'll take you to the Artesana Divina main page. Uh, you'll see subscribers hub there and that's where all the part twos are at. So I will see you guys on the other side. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to react and comment, share, even if it's just a little emoji that pushes my algorithm and shows me appreciate my time and energy. Okay, see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.